Man, you already know, man. It's Houston, man. It's H Town. Yeah, it's J Lou. I'm back. I'm before you call us the Big Three and Beyond. I'm just gonna go ahead and call this Cut Shop. That's what all I'm gonna talk about. We're gonna talk Houston Texans, the state of where we're at right now, 2013. Today is September 24. Two days after we got, it wasn't even a close game. You know, after we got our butts just beat by the Baltimore Ravens. And it shouldn't even come to that. Straight up. Shouldn't even come to that. You know, there's a lot of issues and a lot of problems. We're going to get into that. But, you know what? Kubiak ain't going to tell you that. He's going to say, oh, well, there's a lot of issues whenever they're giving his press conference the other day. I'm going to tell you something. Let's go ahead and get, get, get straight numbers right now. Matt Schaub, this year, 2013, through three games, he's averaging eight points for the opposing team. Eight points. Now, I know our special teams ain't that good either. They gave up another bad play where they gave up that touchdown run. And they missed some, ta they, they had some missed the tackles and everything like that. And the dude went straight to the sideline. Straight down. You know what I'm saying? But then that, he threw another pick six. He threw a pick six before that. That's the second week in a row he's throwing a pick six. He threw one against the Titans that week before. The reason why I'm saying cut shop is, you know, if you haven't heard, you know, somebody put uh, with styrofoam cups on this bridge uh, somewhere on 45. I think it was probably close to downtown. Somebody put the, in the chain link fence with cut shop, you know, spelled out. I thought it was freaking hilarious, you know. I know there's probably some people that still down for Shab and still want to want to give him a chance, but uh, you know what? I gave him a few chances, and last year, when you know, before the Patriots and all that, last year and all that, you know, at one when we were 11 on one, yeah, everything was fine and dandy. We just lost to Green Bay, but after that. You know, he showed me he, just, he can't win a big game. That's something him and Tony Romo have in common. They cannot win a big game. No. Whenever it comes down to crunch time and it's a big game, Schaub is going to fold. If there's pressure coming from a good defense, especially up the middle, Schaub is, Schaub is pretty much, you know what I'm saying, unless... They have in Kubiak have a setup for a quick outlet pass or a quick screen. Because other than that, if they're coming right at him, Sean's going to go straight to the ground back like the David Carr days. Y'all remember back, y'all remember that, Texan fans. I'm not saying, I'm not saying, he, I'm not comparing him to David Carr. Don't, 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 don't think I'm thinking that. <coughs> He's better than David Carr. But let me give you some here. This is my main thing. He is not a big game quarterback. He is not going to take our team to the Super Bowl. The only way he's going to take his Super Bowl is if we have the Chicago Bears 85 defense. The 85 Chicago Bears defense. I'm talking straight dominating. I'm talking straight limiting everybody under 10 points a game. Now our defense is okay, but you know, they've sprung some leaks the last few weeks too, okay? Yeah, Watts, Mega Watts had his sacks and, you know, the linebackers and all that. You know, our front seven is actually not too bad. But our secondary is weak right now. And I'm going to be honest, um, I don't think Ed Reed's going to make that big of a difference. I think he's going to get better a little bit, you know. But I don't think he's going to make that big of a difference. We get burned in every game. That's why when we go up against a team that's got a good quarterback, we're not going to win. A.K.A. Green Bay last year. A.K.A. Tom Brady. And now we got Seattle. Okay, let's let, let, let's get back to where we're at now. We're one, we're two and one right now. We about better be lucky. We're two and one right now. We could be easily be zero and three. We were down three touchdowns against the San Diego on Monday night a few weeks back. Remember that, right? We came back. But since San Diego is pretty good at blowing leads like they did last year against Peyton Manning and the Broncos, we are able to come back. And then we're able to finally play with some urgency, chunking that ball down the field. And then last week, 
They play the Titans. Same thing. We fell down early again. You know, actually our defense played good that game throughout most of the time except giving up that 99-yard drive and giving up a drive early. Other than that, we are flawless. This time again, you know. But the defense can only do so much if the offense is going to fail every time. The offense has not been consistent the whole, I know it's only three games, but they need to get their shit together. They need to go in this Seattle game this next week and play with some more freaking urgency. I'm tired of being down a touchdown, two touchdowns, or we go down a field, we go all the way down, and then we kick a freaking field goal. We our freaking drive our our, our you know our drive stalls. Why don't you chuck it to DeAndre Hopkins, man, in the freaking end zone, let him make and make a play? Why are we throwing this stupid little two yard bubble screen when we need four or five yards down the field? That's giving your running back, Foster, or whoever, too much work to do. Because you know why? The other freaking defense know what you're going to do, Kubiak. They already know what you're going to do. I know what you're going to do. You got to have some freaking cojones and chuck that ball down the field. Why are you going to wait till you're down two damn touchdowns? You got to play the game. You got to play to play the game. You know what I'm saying? Our special teams weak. I know this. Our defense can be better. I know this. Our offensive line. Yes, I know Dwayne Brown was out. I'm hopefully he's gonna be back. Cause we need that boy. You know Ryan Harris. Ah, uh, you know what I'm saying. And then our and then uh, Wade Smith. He got killed for two sacks. You know with T Sizzle from the Ravens. We got to come in with more urgency. I know we're going to be at home. But we can easily lose to Seattle. Even though they're more known for a home team. But right now, they're killing people right now. They're straight 187 on everybody. Straight murderers. We're not no murderers right now. We're like misdemeanor misfits right now. We're not no straight, you know what I'm saying, Super Bowl contenders. So we better come in the next few weeks. And play like the season's on the line, even though it's not realistically on the line. We're at two and one, okay? But if we don't play like we need to play in all phases of the game, we're gonna be out against Seattle. We're gonna lose to Seattle. We're gonna lose to to uh, San Francisco, even though Forty Nine ers got their issues. I think by then they're gonna get their shit together. Plus, they're gonna have a long uh, time to recover because they're playing this Thursday night against the Rams. So I'm waiting to see how they do against the Rams. But Schaub does not have the mobility. I know Peyton Manning and there's some other quarterbacks don't have the mobility either. So why don't Kubiak set them more up with the shotgun formation sometimes? That way he's already like, you know, six, seven yards back of the formation. Even though it's going to, you know... You won't be able to do a, a play action because you know you're not going to run with that. That's going to get, get that's going to throw that out the window, right? So you know you got to do play action. But now get your receivers out there. You know what I'm saying? If you got to put one of your running backs and help on the left or the right side, whichever way, whichever, whatever you're going to do it, or your tight end. I want Daniels or Garrett Graham. You got to get that protection for sure because if you don't have the protection. No quarterback is going to, um, you know, kill it. You saw how Peyton Manning's back, uh, backup left tackle did last night on Monday Night Football. He did a damn good job. You got to make adjustments. The only thing Kubiak has done good this year is with um, challenging challenging plays. And he's actually done pretty good. It's actually been his one good thing he's been at. But other than that, I'm going to say this. If Schaub and Kubiak are going to go hand in hand and they don't get their shit together in the next few weeks, I know they're not going to fire Kubiak midseason. But if they don't get to get their shit together in the next few weeks and Schaub don't get together, ooh, there's going to be a lot of heat in this town. I mean, if people are already talking about playing uh, TJ Yates, playing Case Keenum, whatever like that. 
I'm already down for playing TJ Yates. I'm sorry. Like I say, I am not down with shop. I'm like that guy with the styrofoam cups. That was some creativity. He said, cut Shab on the 45. We got to do what we got to do to move on. I know Bob McNair is a freaking, everybody talks about good about him and everything, how nice he is. But this is the problem he had before. He's too nice of a guy. He's too loyal. He's not going to just, because honestly, Kubiak should have been fired. A few years ago, we went 6-10 and 10 after we went 9-7 and seven and missed the playoffs. He should have been gone. Seriously, should have been gone. I said he should have been gone. I think he's a hell of an offensive coordinator, even though he calls some stupid plays and thinks too much sometimes. But overall, he's got a good playbook. He's got some good plays. But I'm going to tell you this right now. I don't think he's a good coach. Whether you want to take, go ahead, when it comes and the Texans just fall apart and we end up going like 7 and 9, 6 and 10, Bob McNair better pull that trigger and get rid of Kubiak because I know it ain't going to happen to miss either. You better go and get rid of Kubiak and go ahead, do what you got to do with shop. I don't know if TJ Yates is, is, is the man to do it. I actually like Case Keenum, but I, I like the Cougars a lot. I'll see what he did with the Cougars. He looked really, he's really stepped it up his preseason. So I don't know what to think yet. But you know what? They better get together in the next couple weeks. They got two good teams. One here in Seattle. And they got one in San Francisco. So what are they going to do? Like Hulk Hogan said. What are you going to do, brother? When the Seattle Seahawks come in here. Reliant Stadium. This Sunday, brother. Better get your shit together. I'm Josh Lou. I'm out. I'm going to go ahead and jam this shit. Man, I'm on my ESG shit. Come on, go Texas. Better kick some ass.